A man went to a barber shop. He started to have a good conversation with the barber who attended him. Suddenly, they touched the subject of God. The barber said, Look, man, and I don't believe that God exists as you say. If God existed, would there be so many sick people? Would there be abandoned children? If God existed, there would be no suffering nor pain. I can't think of loving a God who permits all of these things. The client stopped for a moment thinking, but he didn't want to respond as to cause an argument. Just after he left the barbershop, he saw a man in the street with a long hair and beard. It seems that it had been a long time since he had his cut, and he looked so untidy. Then the client again entered the barber shop and he said to the barber, You know what? Barbers do not exist. How can you say they don't exist? Well, I am here and I am a barber. No, they don't exist, because if they did, there would be no people with long hair and a beard like that man who walks in the street. Ah, barbers do exist. What happens is that people do not come to me. Exactly. That's the point. God does exist. What happens is people don't go to him and do not look for him. That's why there's so much pain and suffering in the world. I love this analogy, but it works when God's rightful place is the infinite power over all realms and universes, not just ours. So why is there so much suffering and evil here to balance the good and peaceful? Because this is where source sends tarnished to evil souls to live infinite lives until they wake up and realize they are in detention. So the next time, you ask, why is there so much suffering? Ask yourself what you did to be put here. Wake up, do not fill your heart with grief. The kingdom you belong in is waiting for you. Seek no idols or people to worship. Demons and preachers dwell here. Love one another and do no harm.